Hello everybody, welcome to a how-to on how I got RDP to work between uh, Ubuntu and Ubuntu, and also Ubuntu and Windows. So, this is something that uh, I kind of had to research quite a bit and finally got it working. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, this first desktop you see here is going to be the... RDP server so that's the one I'm actually going to be connecting to and this one over here with the green background is what I'm going to be connecting to it from and I also have a Windows installation not shown yet that I'll be connecting as well so let's get started I've got a document typed up here kind of like a cheat sheet and I will publish something like this probably with a little more insight on it and I'll put a link down below so first off I like to use aptitude instead of regular apt so first install aptitude and the reason I like aptitude is it does really well with uh, installing dependencies and everything so you don't have to sort through and find out what you need for this or that. So once you have that installed, you're going to install XRDP and XORG XRDP. And if you do it with the TACY, it will automatically say yes to install this, so you won't have to do anything else. So and that'll take just a few seconds. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to have to deal with the actual firewall on the system. So we'll do a UFW enable. So it enables it on the system startup and then we'll do a, a rule that looks like this it's UFW allow 3389 slash TCP so RDP uses the port 3389 and it's a TCP port so we're gonna allow that into the firewall so traffic that comes to this system bound for this port 3389 will be allowed so rule added, rule added. We don't really care about the IPv6, but whatever. So there's another command here that it's creating a configuration file for pull kit. And what that does is it uh it adds a rule in there to where it basically handles the the session better. I'm not exactly 100% sure why, but but adding all of this into this uh file that we're creating is necessary. So I'll hit control X. Yes, I want to save changes. Enter. Okay, and now that's in there. Alright. So from what I've seen, I pretty much always use Mate Desktop. You might need to install Mate Desktop, and this is the command for that. Because from what I've read, some people are having trouble with like GNOME 3 or Cinnamon or other things like that, like if you're running Mint. So you may need to install a version of Mate Desktop. So moving on, this 
guy here is going to configure multiple user sessions to work with XRDP. So just paste that in there. And then this is going to, the echo mate session for X session, it's going to send all these requests to the X session. All right, and if you want XRDP to run on startup, do a system control enable XRDP. And then all we should have to do is restart the service, which is what slash etsy slash init.d dot slash XRDP restart will do. Okay, it gives me the okay right there, so we should be good here. And eh, why not? We'll go ahead and save that. All right, so this is my gray desktop, which is my lab machine one. Actually, one thing you're going to want to do is find out the IP address of this machine so if config so the IP address of this one is 172.16.1.152 that's got to be important when you want to connect to it from the other machine so let's go over to this other machine and with this one we're actually going to be installing a different program called Remina. It's a really good uh, RDP client. So how we'll do that? We're actually going to install Aptitude again on this one. There's actually a couple of uh, things we need to install. So if you do a, uh, whoa, a search for Remina, it gives us all these things that we can install. So we're going to be installing Remina, Remina Common. And Remina plugin RDP. Then you can do all that with with one command. Do aptitude install Remina. Remina common space. I'm going to plug in RDP. And usually you do a, a aptitude update before all this. I've already done that, so it's whatever. So right now we have Remina installed, if you go to menu, internet, Remina, it should be there now. And you come up with this handy little window. So I'll hit the plus sign. And for name, I'll do Ubuntu Lab 1. We're going to use the RDP protocol. Server, this is where you're going to type in your IP address, which is over here. So it'll be 172.16.1.152. And I need an unlock on. <laughs> so, and username is going to be uh, 
any user on the other box. So I have generic over there. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to enter a password here. That's up to you if you want to. Um, it's it's really up to you. So I'll use the client resolution. And I've noticed with my little app here, using uh, this top color depth doesn't really work. So I need to go down to there. It it works on my actual machine, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. It might have something to do with uh, the hardware, because since these are running on an ESXi server. So we'll make that the best. Quality, sound, if you want to send sound, you'd set that to local. I'm not going to do that. And SSH channel isn't something we really need to set up, so. I'll go ahead and save that. And then it shows up as here. I'll go ahead and log out of here. Okay. So now, should be able to connect with the password on the other machine with Xorg. And there we go. So now we're even getting our uh, the background that we had set up and everything, and you can totally RDP to it. Um, I guess now I'll show how you can also do this with uh, with Windows. So we'll disconnect from here. And I'll bring up the Windows environment. And let's get this here. All right, there we go. So here's our Windows environment. Uh, you can click on just the regular remote desktop connection. Type the IP. Eh, numlock. And you can go ahead and put the username in there if you want. Yes. And you'll get the same prompt. So you'll be able to connect to it from Windows as well. So I found this useful in a lot of things. Uh, a lot of times I'll be running like virtual machines and I want to be able to just RDP to them real quick without uh, having to fire up an instance of VMware or go on to the, uh, to the ESXi web interface and launch a web interface for it. It just makes it a lot easier. You can organize all your, uh, all your RDP sessions and Remina and it makes it really nice. You can even save your passwords if you want, so it will uh it'll just automatically log you in. So if we do that we can go back to disconnect from here. Like if I went over and oh, let me get rid of Windows. We don't like Windows anyway. So if I type my password into here and save that, I could just have it to where, you know, I double click that and it just automatically logs me in. And then you're cooking with Crisco. So the only thing left to do after that is crack a beer open and enjoy your new RDP setup. Thanks for watching.